Hello WordPress nerds. So today in this video we are going to talk about uh, WordPress Studio which is nothing but a software where we can develop WordPress locally and it says it's free way to develop locally with WordPress and we can share our local site with clients. So I'm not going to compare the software with other software like local by flywheel or something uh, I'm just going to review this app and by this I can share my thought or maybe you will get an idea whether to use this as a WordPress developer or not so uh, let's jump into the software before jumping into the code if you are new to Guttenberg development then I would suggest to watch or review this website called the wpvoyage.com this has very good tips and tricks regarding Guttenberg development and Guttenberg editor so please go and check out this site thank you and let's see how it works so basically it provides this two uh, softwares one for Mac and another one for the Windows that's not there for uh, Ubuntu or Linux and yeah for Mac uh, you need to install according to your uh, processor so if you don't know uh, this is my Mac and if you don't know uh, where to check this processor so it's simple go to about this Mac and here you will have the processor name so mine is intel core i5 so i already installed this intel chip and once you install it this is going to look like this uh, let's wait for the software so yeah i tried uh, installing a couple of sites uh, but uh, let's let's delete this site and let me show you how it looks when you freshly install on your system so yeah when you first install it's simple it is looking like this simply you need to add your site name and path where you want to install your site i will keep this as it is and let's say i will say the site name is bunty wp and add site that's it there is no other options we have during the site installation now let's wait for the site So our site is ready and it is look like this so first uh, let's see what we get here so first we have this WP admin link so yeah we don't know the username password yet but let's click on this button or uh, link and yeah uh, so one thing I don't like the type the URL pattern which is just localhost and this could be a port I'm not sure it could be something like uh, localhost port slash the site name I gave something like that it should be <coughs> like that so yeah the that's the thing I don't like it uh, yeah but nothing special here with simple uh, WordPress installation with some links direct links so here if we click on open side it will open the front side of the website and this is the admin this could be the quick link for site editor let's click on the site editor and yeah it is going to open a site editor so all of these are quick links uh, if we click on templates yeah it will open all the uh, templates over here so 
Yeah, this could be useful if you want to go directly on those pages. But yeah, that's okay. I don't think that's necessary. But yeah, they try to give some kind of information which theme is activated and all. Uh, one thing is uh, I find it very good is that we have this three button where we click on the finder it will directly open the folder then the terminal so let's see if well i clicked twice let's see if uh wp cli works or not wp option get site ui oh it is working fine here <coughs> yeah so cli is working uh, I think it's working because CLI is, is already installed on my system. Then this one is my favorite that if we click it will directly open with the VS code so we don't need to go inside folder and then open with VS code and something like that. So it is this is really impressive this is I like very much uh that's it that is uh that's all on the overview we'll check the share button last share section last well let's see the settings here we can yeah we can change the site name there is no <clears throat> okay i got it why they did not provide the link I was suggesting because we can change the site name and I think it will change the installation folder name as well so that's that this is the local path we can open it from here I think by default it will install the latest WP version oh we have an option to change PHP version so this is this is impressive that's that is very good this is username password admin url is this well this uh, i guess that's not necessary if you are providing that link over here uh, i'm not sure this is just to copy uh this username and password <clears throat> yeah because they are not asking any username password during the uh, installation so that's it that's that it's simple that's it it could have been more detailed information over here for example the php my admin uh, details like host username password same as the wp admin section so it should be there uh, yeah i think this is still under process project from the wordpress so in future we we will see the improvements and i hope the any member from wordpress team is watching my video or something so that they can add that detail over here <clears throat> uh, another thing is let's go to the back end yeah there is no option to access the database because they are using SQLite but if I click on this I see this message but yeah I'm not sure how to access the database at the moment uh, if anybody knows please uh, write down below in the comment section how to do that <coughs> but yeah at the moment uh, we don't have an option to check the database then so that's the very uh, negative point from my side that we should have access to database anyhow or uh, one click or maybe just provide a php my admin link or any <clears throat> yeah, i'm not sure as you like to how to access that database now the share is that uh, we need wordpress.com account so let's try to 
Latin. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we can add our demo site here. Shared a hosted clone of your local site. Demo site are deleted after seven days and we can push our changes to demo side anyway so let's try to add a demo site a few moments later okay our demo site is ready and i'm assuming that this demo site belong to this current site i have created so let's try to open the site and yes it is uh, displaying some message that this is a demo site from the studio uh, let's confirm that our changes works with the demo site as well so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I will try to change this text over here from the local site so this is local site let's click on edit so here i would say a b and then save it and we will check the same over here uh, it's not seem okay we have to click on this update demo site so let's update it i think after that it will start displaying my changes okay i think it it is updated So <clears throat> let me try one more. Okay, yeah, that was coming from the catch. So yeah, I added some query string so that I don't get the cached version. So yes, our changes are syncing with the the shared site. <clears throat> so yeah this is how it works we, uh, we have this stop button as well so that you can stop the site and again play, play the site or start the site sorry so it takes some time to start the site we have stop all button as well so yeah nothing fancy uh only drawback i can tell for this at the moment is to get access to the database which we don't know how to do that uh yeah i will keep updating the video regarding the vs code uh, sorry wp studio uh as they provide information or update this software so keep watching the videos and if you have any doubt question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video